college? Start now at Northwest College. With prices rising, Attorney General Rob Bonta is defending California consumers against corporate greed. Bonta is taking on powerful corporations, protecting Californians from illegal price gouging, suing Walmart for dumping hazardous waste, forcing Amazon to end harmful labor practices, and securing $26 billion from companies that fueled the opioid crisis. Bonta will keep taking the fight to corporate bullies and protecting California families. Attorney General Rob Bonta, no backing down. Tickets to KISS FM's Wango Tango. Watch for the code word for your chance to see Sean Mendez, the Chainsmokers, Camila Cabello, and more tomorrow. I just hope justice finds him. Right now at 5, student slashing. A teen is walking home from school when police say another student sneaks up and stabs her several times. How passersby likely saved her life and why her family says that suspect snapped. Knives out. An armed suspect caught on camera tackling comic Dave Chappelle on stage is charged with attempted murder in another attack. It is sensible to take this simple step of putting back on the mask. COVID cases surging again in SoCal. LA County moves up to the medium risk category. Could a summer surge bring back the masks? I was really surprised that coming out of the ambulance, we didn't go directly in. Extended waits expected as children pack local emergency rooms. What's causing the surge of pediatric patients? This is turning into big city life. From SoCal to the South, are the crowds calling California quits, turning Music City into a mega metropolis? The new Nashville. The News at 5 starts right now. Did you think it was Friday? I felt like Friday. Everybody thought it was Friday. It's the gloomy weather. I know, the May gray. It, it, yeah. it is Thursday, though. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Paige Rivera. Thank you so much for joining us here on the 5 o'clock show. We want to get to our top story right now. A 16-year-old boy could be charged with attempted murder after police say that he stabbed his female classmate while she was walking home from school. Well, the girl, also 16, is expected to recover. Both teenagers go, go to Montclair High School and know each other. As you see there, KTLA's Jennifer McGregor. Raw joins us live in Montclair with reaction from the community. Jen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that teen was nearly home, just about a block away when she was attacked. Now, we spoke with her foster family earlier this morning. They say that the teen actually knows her alleged suspect, but at this point, say that perhaps there was some sort of crush, but can't imagine how it could ultimately end in violence. She can't chew or anything. She was stabbed in the face, back of the head, arms, ear, and so it looks, it looks pretty bad. Daniel Osorno rushed to the scene, fearing the worst after hearing his sister was stabbed multiple times on her way home from school. Apparently, another student just ran up on her while she was walking home to home. She had both her headphones in, so she couldn't hear it. and. Pretty much, he just pounced on her and attacked. It happened in a busy intersection near Grace Pinedo in her husband's house. I ran out, and when I was coming out, I can see the girl laying down. Grace says the 16-year-old was badly injured. They called 911, and several people had the suspect on the ground trying to figure out what happened. Why did you do? Why? Why did you even do it? And I go, she your girlfriend? He's like, no. I go, then why? What happened? It, were they bullying you or something? And then he just said it's complicated. Yeah, what yeah. drove him to do that? Why would he do something that intense? Yeah. Something something clicked in his head, something to make him it do that. It's just horrible. Grace says if it weren't for the man stopping to help and grabbing the knife out of the student's hand, the situation could have been much worse. In fact, the victim's brother says he's so grateful for everyone who helped. Fortunately, someone that was just driving by hopped out of their car and pretty much saved my sister's life. And children? Yeah. So, Jennifer, do we know any more about this good Samaritan who stopped to help? 
Yeah, sure. According to everyone who was here on scene, this is a man that was just driving through the intersection when he saw that young man stabbing the 16 year old girl. He jumped out of his car. He grabbed the knife. He threw it. And of course, he tackled that suspect to the ground. That's the very latest live here. We'll send it back to you in Hollywood. Yeah, Jennifer, thank you. Well, the man accused of attacking comedian Dave Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl now faces an attempted murder charge in an unrelated case. Isaiah Lee is accused of stabbing a roommate during a fight at a housing complex in early December. Police say it was media reports about the Chappelle attack that led the stabbing victim to identify Lee as his attacker. Lee has pleaded not guilty to the attempted murder charge. We're in this crisis because they defunded the department and they cannot replace the 600 officers that we lost. So the city council is at fault. The L.A. City Council has approved a nearly $12 billion revised budget, which includes an $87 million boost for the LAPD and a $1 billion boost to help fight homelessness. The spending plan allows for the addition of hundreds of new LAPD officers.